Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Silver Lake United Methodist Church. My name is Alex Rosso. It's a joy to see all of your faces here in worship with us today. I think today is going to be fun uh, as we as we continue and to kind of kick off our, our stories and hear the power of stories. And we're not only just going to hear uh, stories from the Bible, but we're going to hear stories about how uh, God moves through uh, each other's lives. And I believe it's going to be uh, really powerful. And so uh, for the next uh, couple of Sundays uh, built into every service, there's going to be a, a time if anyone feels uh, moved to share uh, their story, uh, there's this microphone set up. Uh, and so if you feel moved to, to share any part of your story, uh, we, we're, there's going to be a time where we invite you to come up. And it's, it's okay if you don't want to, but it's, it's, there's going to be an invitation for you to share. And uh, this week, we, want, we have a couple ha happy birthdays, and we even, we've been singing it when the person's present. And so today's Jen Thomas's birthday. And so uh, uh, also tomorrow is Diane Martinick's birthday, and Logan Miller's birthday is on the 19th too. And then Chloe Jackson's birthday is on the 20th, and then Thelma's birthday is on the 23rd. And so uh, we'll sing happy birthday to everyone this week because I, I heard uh, Jen say, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's because Jen's here, we're going to sing happy birthday, okay? okay? So can we sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jen. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. That's what we like to do in our house. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> At the very end. And so, uh, and then a couple of things that I wanted to, to make, a, make you aware of. Uh, there, there's be stuff up on the screen too, but uh, May 1st, we're going to have a, a church uh, work day from 9 to 11. That's a Saturday. Uh, we're going to begin to, we're, we're, we'll cross our fingers and hope that there's no... Uh, begin to to paint like the back side of here where we've had the just gonna have a, a group of people do that then there's also other things that we have a to take care of around the uh, then there's a, a couple of questions who have uh, kiddos that are in pre-k through second grade uh, we want to know what your preference is. Would you prefer to have uh, a Sunday school like, like during worship or would you like to have it after worship like the third through sixth graders are? And so if you, th you think about that, uh, I know uh, uh, that sometimes like uh, the, my, my older kiddos, Lydia, th th gets something out of what I say, but oftentimes uh, uh, they also learn better in a, an envi environment with their with their pews and learning about the the, the stories with their with their hands and, and through uh, coloring and, and hearing uh, hearing different uh, ways to tell the story. And so let us know uh, what your preference uh, might be. Uh, the the 150th celebration of uh, Silver Lake is June 25th through 26th. Uh, May 5th we'll be starting reading. Uh, uh, make make your bed small practices that uh, will change your life and maybe the world we're going to do the first five uh, William McRaven Admiral William McRaven has 10 points in his book and so we're going to split the book in half and so uh, May 5th we'll talk about the first five points and then on May 19th we'll talk about the last uh, five points there's so many different ways you can uh, get the book you can go to uh, the, the library here here in Silver Lake and they can uh, interlibrary loan if they don't have a copy or you can also check out the copy they have on hand you can also check it out electronically and uh, read it on uh, any device or you can also uh, listen to it and it's on uh, Hoopla is an app that they use through the library or you can also uh, if you want a, uh, your own copy, you can buy it on uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or any other uh, bookstores that you might uh, prefer shopping at. And then uh, the Lions Club is, uh, is uh, you, at Wieners, they have a receptacle for, gross, for plastic bags or plastic wrap. And uh, if they get 500 pounds, they get, they'll have a bench in Lions 
park. And then I wanted to give you the grand total of, uh, of the items we donated to Topeka North Outreach. We donated 413 items uh, to Topeka North Outreach. And I think that's something that we, sh we should celebrate. That's a, we'll, we'll, we'll bless so many uh, kiddos. Because remember, they do 8,000 uh, uh, meals, our Operation Backpack Bags, a, a, a month. And so uh, it's, it's good to help them out with that part. Uh, with all that in mind, I want to uh, invite you to, to join Aiden in the gathering prayer. Lord, God, open our hearts to your presence today. Encourage us to share the times of our lives where we have felt your mercy, love, and, and grace. Give us courage and challenge us to live like live like you lived knowing knowing you go before us leading you and guiding our steps in jesus name we pray amen, amen. let us continue by singing lord i left your name on high <laughs> person with me. We are witnesses to everyone we encounter, young and old like us, all sisters and brothers in God's family. Join me in the song of praise, How Great is Our Lord.
peace and prayer. God of glory and God among us, help us to grab, hold, and see of the life you offer us to. We know the world will not end. And our relationship with you is spent, passed into our help and peace. We look forward to inheriting your joy, justice, and peace in your love. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated as we continue to, to pray uh, with each other. Uh, as I, I was uh, looking on, on Facebook, uh, we, we should surround uh, Loretta Neely, in prayer, her brother Wayne Dunn uh, passed away, and so to surround uh, Lorita, if you have her her address, I, I want to invite you to, to to write her a card, or if you have her phone number, uh, uh, please uh, reach out to her. Uh, also, uh, uh, a couple uh, uh, things to, uh, to to celebrate in, uh, in our prayers is. Uh, the, the birth of Gus Alexander Brewster, who was born on uh, April 18th, and uh, his parents are Joe and Lolly, and then of course we know the, the grandparents, Pat and Andy, and the great-grandparents, uh, Winnie and Jean, and then also to, a thing to give thanks for is uh, Stan and Dixie celebrated their 65th wedding anniversary this past week, and uh, so many, uh, there's a lot, were lots of birthdays last week too, to, to celebrate those in our prayers. And so, are there any other prayer requests from those of you gathered in person? Warren. Okay, so, so prayers for, for Jim as he receives care at KU Med, uh, and that starts tomorrow, too. Thank you, Warren, for sharing that with us. We'll surround Jim and yourself in prayers. Uh, is, are there any other prayer requests that anyone would like to share? All right, will you please pray with me? Oh God, we, we gather today uh, thankful for each other, thankful for our, our, our stories, thankful for uh, being able to, to co-author our, our stories with you. We are thankful for your presence that is with us when, uh, when we are experiencing uh, the, the reality of life around us. We are thankful for your presence that is, is with us as we, we go and seek medical care for ourselves and for, for others that we, we love and, and care for. We are, are thankful for your presence that is uh, with us and, and comforts us as we grieve our losses. God, today in, in our community, we, uh, we want to surround uh, Lorita and, and her family in your love in your presence. May, may the, the, the memories that they have uh, of Wayne uh, fill them with joy as they remember who he was and how he uh, shaped them and, and to the people that they are today. Surround them with your comfort and peace as they remember. God, there are also uh, Jim is seeking medical care at KU Med, but there are also so many of us here gathered today that are, 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 are seeking medical care, receiving uh, treatment, and that we, we ask for your peace to surround us. A, a peace as we uh, wait uh, results, a, a peace that as we go in to, to, to do tests, we ask that your peace to just wash over us, and we give thanks for the the, the medical medical teams that are, are caring for us. We ask that you continue to uh, bless not only ourselves but but everyone that they, they care for 
with the wonderful gifts that you have blessed them with. God, today also we, we pray for uh, our community uh, and the leaders of it, uh, it and, and the, the city of Silver Lake, the, the school district, and all those other leaders that are in our midst, that you uh, guide and, and lead them as they discern what is best for the communities that they serve. God, we also ask that you guide and lead and help to discern the leaders of our country and the leaders of the world as they navigate all that's going on. We ask that you lead and guide them. God, we pause in this moment right now to say what is on our heart to you and confess any time that we might have uh, missed the mark or, or caused harm to someone this week. God, we, we give you thanks for, for seeking us and being in relationship with us. You hear our, our, our thoughts. You know what, what is on our hearts, and you meet us there. God, we, we pray all of these things in the same way that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, by praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us continue to worship by singing the hymn of reflection, God is so good. Please stand and follow along on, on the screen as I read from the book Acts chapter 1, verse 1 through 8. Dear Theophilus, in the first volume of this book, I wrote on everything that Jesus began to do and teach us until he said goodbye to the apostles on, one, on ones he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. After his death, he presented himself alive to them in many different settings over the period of 40 days. In face-to-face -face meetings, he talked about them, about, about things 
concerning, concerning the kingdom of God. As they met and ate meals together, they, he had told them that they were no, on no account to leave Jerusalem, but must wait what, for what the Father promised, the promise you heard from me. John baptized in the water, you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And soon, when they were together, they asked, the last time, they asked, Master, are you going to restore the king of Israel? kingdom of Israel now? Is this the time? He told them, you don't get to know the time. Timing is Father's business. What you get is the Holy Spirit, and when the Holy Spirit comes to you, you will be able to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, all over Judah and Samaria, Samurai, and even to the ends of the world. May God add blessing to the reader reading, hearing, and understanding of God's word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Berna and Aiden, uh, for helping lead today. Thank you for Christy as well. You may, be, you may be seated. And so as we, we begin today, I want us to, to join in this uh, litany our, our, uh, together as we, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a way in which I, I hope it will cultivate within you uh, an awareness of, of all of our, our stories that are in, in this room, because we all, all have uh, stories, and they're unique uh, to each and every one of us. So please join me. Hear what the Lord says. Rise, plead your case before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Mountains and hills are God's witnesses. Isaiah said, The mountains and hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Hills rejoice, and trees applaud our God. Jesus said, I tell you, if the disciples were silent, the stones would shout out. Even stones trumpet God's praise. And what about us? And what about us? What will we do? What will we do? What will we do for the God who breathed life into Adam, life into dry bones, and life into our church? We will tell God's story. Jesus said, love your enemies and pray for those who bully you. The apostle said, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith. We are not ashamed of the gospel. We are not ashamed of our faith. Who will be a witness for our God? Who will tell the nations of God's goodness? We declare God's goodness before all creation, we will tell God's story. And so as I was uh, thinking about how to, to say uh, what might be uh, an amazing way to, for uh, individuals to hear uh, stories, I just want to, to let you know in on, on the inner workings of my mind. And so I was thinking, okay, like when, uh, is, when would it be a, appropriate for, for me to, to, to share my story? And so I debated, should I do it at the, the beginning? Do I do it at the end? And I landed on, it's not going to be the beginning. I landed on, I just wanted to uh, extend an invitation and to, uh, for you to hear through each other how uh, each of you have experienced God in your life. And I, one of my favorite passages of scripture is Joshua 1, 8 and 1, 9, where uh, God says, be bold and courageous. And God says that I am with you. And, and so uh, as we live out our stories, when we're, when we're, when we're up, up high and we're, we're celebrating or whether we're, we're down row and, and, and we're, we're going through, we're, we're just trying to pull out as many weeds as we can in our life, God is with us. God is with us. And imagine each of us, like uh, our, our life is, is, is like a, a book that, that doesn't really have an ending. We, we all have these different chapters of our life, right? 
And in some chapters, we have these uh, glorious moments. And in some chapters, we have these moments that we might not want to, want to tell anyone about, right? Or am I the only one that has those two different uh, types of chapters in their lives? No, not. I see no, and I see some chuckles, even though I can only see eyes. And so we all have these different chapters. And even in, in the not so great chapters and, and the really good chapters, God is with us. And we, uh, in each one of these chapters of our life, have, have a choice to in, invite God in and for God to be a, a co-author with us on our life's journey, to, to invite God in and be a part uh, of our story. And I believe as we hear stories from, from everyone, we will get a, a more full representation of how amazing God is. When we, when we hear each other's and, and share our gifts from one another, we see a big, big picture, like a mosaic in the, in the stained glass windows. Like we begin to, to see who God is through each other. And so uh, when we hear each other's stories, there's a couple things that we're going to do. We're, we're going we're gonna to celebrate each, each other's stories. And, and we're, we're going to celebrate each other's uniqueness. We're going to celebrate our, uh, our, our diversity. Because when we celebrate our diversity, we celebrate divinity. When we celebrate our uniqueness, we celebrate God, because each one of us, in all, in all our peculiarities and in all our, our, our nuances that only we might know or those closest to us might know, are made in the image of God. And, and at the end, when, when someone is going to share their story, we're going we're gonna to pray for them, and we're going to encourage them, and we're going to give them thanks for sharing their story with us. And so the, the first person that is going to do this for us is Warren. And as Warren comes up, I want to kind of, for those of you who don't know who Warren is, or uh, I, as I, 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 this, through this, we, this uh, time that I've been here, two and a, almost two, over two and a half years, and Warren mentioned it uh, there about Jim, I know Warren as a, a, a wonderful caregiver. I, I know Warren as a person that when she smiles, you can't help but see and feel the joy that resides within Warren. I know Warren as someone who uh, has experienced a whole lot in her life. And through each and every one of the moments, Warren will tell you that God has been with her. And so with all of that, I'm going to turn it over to Warren going to be sorry. <laughs> the most wonderful contact that I've had with dear Jesus was about 10 years ago when I found out that I had breast cancer. I was in the hospital and I was being pushed under the machine for x-rays and scans and just before my face went under the machine I turned to the left and I saw Jesus dear Jesus face right beside me and I heard him say to me don't worry I care about you and you will receive excellent care well I certainly did I survived <laughs> I don't remember never going to church Fortunately, I was taking as, taken as an infant, and I got to sit on my grandma's lap <laughs> almost every Sunday until I was old enough to leave home. I was born in Clay Center, Kansas, and we lived near Wakefield, and that's where we attended church, a Methodist church in Wakefield, and I was instructed to love and obey Jesus. One of the best memories was that a friend of my parents taught me how to play the piano, and Christian hymns is what she taught me, and they're still the only music I want to play. <laughs> when I was in the eighth grade, <clears throat> my parents moved to a farm near the small town of Oneida, Kansas. 
where I was taken to church at the Oneida Methodist Church, a very small church, and I was taken there until I moved away from home. I so well remember going to that small church, and my parents started Sunday school classes at that church. They had not had Sunday school classes prior to that. And they were so greatly appreciated by everyone attending that little church. And they also encouraged my brother and I to teach small children classes, Sunday school classes at the church. And I so wonderfully remember, while still a child living at home, every morning when I'd wake up, I knew my parents were wide awake, and they were out at the table eating breakfast, and Mom was reading a Bible message for my dad, and then they'd discuss what they felt that they were learning. My brother and I both enjoyed their faith, and we certainly and they certainly encouraged us to love and follow Jesus with their learning through the Bible. When I was first employed in Topeka and had to move away from home, I knew from my parents' teaching that I needed to follow Jesus. As I lived alone, my faith in Jesus was certainly a blessing, and I heard him ask me to help others become his children also. I must admit that while working with quite a number of employees and working for Petro Surgical Supply, <clears throat> a company who took care of people who had so many health issues, I encouraged many employees to find our dear Lord and to begin worshiping him. I actually observed many people feeling that they were being healed by our dear Lord and our employers, our employees were encouraging them to love the Lord. Also, my employer was a great believer in our Lord and he encouraged so many who were ill to find our Lord and worship him. I feel that my faith must have moved on to both of my children. I know they love and obey our dear Lord. Thank you, Warren. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's appropriate. Yeah. I mean, that's a, a, a bold and courageous move for someone to, to share and especially to be. Uh, the first one. So will you uh, please uh, join me in, in praying and giving thanks for Warreen. Oh God, we are, are so thankful for Warreen. We are so thankful for her story and how you uh, have worked uh, through Warreen and will continue to uh, move through Warreen. Uh, we give you thanks for, for her and, and the way that, that she has uh, been able to, to bless others because of you uh, working through her. Amen. And so uh, here, come, here comes the, 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 the time. And so uh, if you uh, would, if, would feel moved to, to share uh, and you aren't on the, the list of people who are going to be sharing throughout the next weeks, I, I invite you to. Uh, no pressure. You, you don't have to. Uh, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna pause, and uh, it'll, there might be uh, some some silence for like 15 seconds. As if someone wants to, to come forward, they can. All right, I see no movement. <laughs> you know, you know when, when 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 sometimes you ask questions, and like especially like if you're in class, and the teacher says, "All right, who wants to answer this question?" Everybody kind of kind of look looks away. Uh, I could feel those vibes in that. And so you'll have multiple opportunities uh, in, the in the next week. There's going to be space available. And so maybe uh, today was just the beginning nudge, and, and in the weeks ahead, you might feel a, a stronger uh, nudge. 
Will you please uh, join in, in singing the hymn, Blessed Assurance? Now I want to invite Lydia and Claire Rosso uh, to the to the piano, and uh, right for the the offertory today as as part of, of our our stories and, and sharing with one another. Uh, Lydia and Claire are going to play the the offertory, but in this time uh, while they're playing, I invite you to uh, give thanks and to. Uh, to, to give God's tithes and your offerings as you're, as you're walking out through the, through the blessing box. Uh, and you can uh, join and uh, uh, applaud them. And if you feel led to, to share one of your gifts like, like they are doing, whether it's through 
instrument or a song, I, I just want to encourage you to do this. Now, you, you, can, you too, Lydia and Claire, you can start. The closing hymn today is I Love to Tell the Story.
Amen. And there's so many different ways to tell the story. We heard the story told uh, through Warren. We heard the story told through Brenna and Aiden. We, we see the story being told up here on the altar from the, the work of Jaden. There are so many different ways in which we can see and, and hear and be God's story. And so this week, as, as you leave, I want you to invite you to, to be a part of that story and to, to share that story with someone through your words, through your, your actions, through something you create. And uh, I, I pray that God will, will bless you and, and keep you throughout the week. Amen.